What's up guys? So today we're gonna take the bison out and we're gonna tow a trailer. The trailer that we're towing is a Big Tex low profile dump bed trailer that weighs in at 4,510 pounds empty. We're gonna see how it does with that. Here we go guys. So the trailer weights are the, the towing recommendation by the manufacturer for Colorado's uh, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive in the diesel version is 7,700 pounds. If you've got the short wheelbase crew cab or the long wheelbase crew cab, it's 7,600 pounds. If you've got the Canyon long wheelbase crew cab, it's 7,500 pounds. And then if you've got the ZR2, and of course the ZR2 is four-wheel drive, it's only 5,000 pounds. Trailer that we're towing, I already talked about. It's a Big Tex trailer, empty. It's 4,510 pounds, which leaves us with 490 pounds left over. So let's go ahead and hook up and see how she does. Here we go. We're going to back up, and this is what the dash looks like. So your normal backup lines show up there, or you can swap it over and go to the trailer backup, and then it shows you the straight line. Here's the first problem that I found dealing with anything on this truck that I really don't like, and that's the chain hookup area. So the passenger side hooks up real easy. However, on the driver's side, because I have a lockable hitch pin, it takes away all of that space that the chain really needs to be able to hook up. So whenever you hook it up, it's kind of a pain, and it doesn't lock in all the way that you want it to. And then the second thing that I don't like is a trailer light hookup. It's super loose in there. And on the back side of it, it's just two tabs that you squeeze together and then the whole thing comes out. The problem with that is, is I'm afraid going down the road over time and it doing this right here, it's gonna eventually break that housing and it's gonna cause problems. So we'll have to see if we can figure out something on that to fix it. So we're now hooked up to the trailer. First step in the process is setting the trailer brakes properly so that we have maximum control over the trailer while you're driving down the road. Simple process, push the button over here, drive, test the brakes, and make sure that they're set right. So we're gonna walk through that real quick. So now we've got everything set up. The first step before driving anywhere is you need to set the trailer brakes. And what you need to do on that part to set it properly is you need to hit the plus sign or the minus to get the voltage in a correct spot. And then you need to manually apply the brakes with the manual slider to get the optimal setting for the trailer brakes. And where that's at is just before the tires actually lock up and skid. You want them to come to a quick stop, but not locking up and skidding. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the trailer brakes set at 3.0 you're going to get the vehicle well it helps to take the parking brake off you're going to want to get the vehicle up to about 15 20 miles an hour on a level surface with no gravel and then using the trailer brakes only you want to apply steady but quick pressure until you stop so we need to add a little bit because the tires did not lock up speed up again and we'll try it again Okay, it's pretty close. We're gonna add one more. So we're now at 4.0. I'm gonna go ahead and get turned and kind of set up in a straighter line. Once again, you're only using the trailer brakes. You do not want to use the vehicle brakes. Okay, so 4.0 is too much. The tire's actually locked up. So I'm gonna get turned around here a little bit more so that way our side camera out there will be able to get a good shot of that. 
And it's super important to get this set up properly because if you're going down the road and you start getting, okay, there we go, it's locked up. So we're gonna back it off to 3.5. Because if you're going down the road and you start getting the trailer sway back and forth, the way that you get it under control is by applying the trailer brakes only and it will stop the vehicle safely. So right there at 3.5, the trailer brakes stop the entire rig without sliding and it gives you the maximum amount of control. All right, so now that we got the brakes set properly, we're gonna go on a little test drive and see how the truck handles overall. Okay, so we're now getting out on the road and one of the things that I want to hit on about the importance of being familiar with where the trailer brake setup is, is where it's at on the dash, the steering wheel actually covers it. So if you're not familiar with it uh, and you get into trouble, you're not going to be able to grab it and apply the brakes safely uh, without panicking. So familiarize yourself with that first. So driving down the road, the first thing that I notice is it actually handles pretty well for the trailer maxing out the ZR2's uh, towing capacity. Essentially, I mean, we're 490 pounds away. Uh, it does very well. I will say that once you get up to about 65 miles an hour, the vehicle does want to start to kind of sway back and forth. Uh, so if you're looking to tow something heavy, this is not gonna be your vehicle for it. You're gonna wanna step it up to a full-size truck. Uh, but doing anything at 5,000 pounds and below, you should be fine. One thing that I don't care for very much is the mirrors. Uh, if you're going to tow trailers regularly, you're going to want to look for some kind of aftermarket attachment because these mirrors just don't give you a full view of what's going on behind you. So the diesel motor does a very good job uh, with the torque and getting the weight going. Uh, the place that I see a, a fault in the truck's towing capability is the braking. Uh, even though that we have trailer brakes, the vehicle still seems to kind of struggle uh, to, to bring the entire load to a stop safely. Uh, I feel like the motor could tow more, uh, and I think the suspension could probably handle it a little more. However, I don't think you could stop it safely. So one thing that we did, and we made sure that we did before we started towing anything, is we got over 500 miles. And that's what the manufacturer recommends, is to do the proper break-in period, and then once you reach 500 miles, then you can start to tow. Uh, downside is, is, if you're gonna tow where we're at right now, at the maximum uh, weight capacity for the truck, uh, you wanna make sure that you have a oil change done prior to uh, and this is just to ensure that the, the motor has all the impurities and everything flushed out and uh, everything's good to go on that. But since we're not towing with just a few miles with the trailer, we're not going to worry about having the oil change done right now. All that being said, I do believe that this truck is capable to tow a fair amount of weight. If you want to tow a whole lot, like I said before, step it up to a bigger vehicle. Pros, it does have the power, it does have a lot of the, the things that you're looking for in a truck, and at the same time the cons are is it just can't do certain things that the big trucks can. And the number one thing that I can point out on that is going to be the braking. It can tow it, but it can't stop it safely. Second con is once you start to get to the heavier weights with the, the ZR2 being lifted, it doesn't handle very well at high speeds. With all of that being said, it's been a great time, I've enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post in the link below or in the in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As always, like, subscribe, hit that bell so that way you get notified whenever we post up a new vehicle. Thanks for watching, guys.